How's it going everyone? It's the the last video of the conferences on E3. Uh, this was Nintendo's press conference and I've saved the um, craziest for last. So uh, let, let's get to it. If you guys did not understand why I have glasses on, uh, please check the other videos. Um, just give me one minute. Ew. Man. Fucking cats, man. They're annoying. <laughs> anyway, uh, Nintendo started off with the Skyward Sword. Uh, they didn't really show too much on the Skyward Sword. Um, I, I know um, Mi Miyamoto came out and started talking about the the music of Zelda, and they had the orchestra going on with that, and uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, they didn't really show much. I mean, obviously, it's still in working process, and I'm not sure exactly when it's going to be releasing. Uh, probably, maybe late 2012, I, I want to say. Mid, uh, maybe around summer, it might come out. Um, then it came out with a whole bunch of the Zelda games. Um, I, I think one of them was like the anniversary, the 25th uh, anniversary, where they were going to show off. Uh, I don't know if they were like remaking it or they were gonna sh uh, do like a s anniversary soundtrack where you get to get you can get the free soundtrack and all that stuff. Um, I think there was gonna be uh, other Zelda games on the 3DS. I think maybe. Uh, so you know, um, I, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, I, I know I know I played a little bit of Zelda one time. Um, Ocarina of Time. I didn't really. I, I did. I played a little bit of it. Um, I didn't really think it was all that. All that great to begin with, to be honest. It, I'm not saying it wasn't fun, but I, I'm not gonna get into that. That's a different uh, topic on another day. But you know, the Zelda games, you know, it wasn't. It was pretty much what we all expected. Another Zelda game, you know, Skyward Sword. I was gonna say Ocarina of Time again, but uh, Mario Kart 3DS. You know, actually, you know what? Before I even get to each one of them, I'm gonna go off and list the 3DS games that were shown off. Mario Kart 3DS, Star Fox 3DS, Super Mario 3DS. Kid Icarus Uprising 3DS, Luigi Mansion 3DS, and Pokemon 3D. Okay, now, Mario Kart, you know, Mario Kart's one of those games where, um, it's fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's fun, but it's just not the type of game I would think is really competitive. You know, it's a casual game, you go up and play with your friends or family and have fun, you know. Um, I, saw, I saw the footage of the Mario Kart, it, again, it looks fun, all the different things you can do, you can go underwater, you know. So it looks like they're really bringing out a l little depth of Mario Kart for the 3DS. Now the Star Fox 3DS is pretty interesting because you know Star Fox hasn't really been, hasn't had many games compared to some of the other Nintendo games lately, or in the last 10 years. So you know Star Fox, you know 3DS HD, you know uh, semi HD, you know. Really interested to see how they make Star Fox because it's been a while. I think it's been a really long time since there was a lot of Star Fox. I could be wrong, <laughs> I could be wrong, but if what I remember, it seems like a long time since I last played a Star Fox game. Um, Super Mario 3DS, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's like the side scrolling Super Mario Brothers, right? A 3DS, I mean, if I mean, I would love another game like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know uh, Mario Galaxy is fun and all, but I like the old school Mario. I, li I like the th I like the Super Mario Brothers. I mean, that, that those are the Mario's I grew up on, so I I'm going to be more attached to them than some of the newer Mario's like Ga Galaxy, you know, but I'm not dissing the Galaxies. They're, they're pretty good games. They're graphically, they're pretty good. Really good, but I don't know. I I'm, I, I just like the Super Mario Brothers. I, just like I like the Super Mario Brothers Wii. The, the game that was side scroller, but it has really in depth graphics. So, I mean, not PS3 type graphics or Halo, I mean, the 3D, uh, 360, but you know, they were pretty good graphics. The Super Mario Bros. We, you know, the Kid, the Kid Icarus Uprising looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm just wondering when that's gonna sh get up on uh, the 3DS, like it's, when it's gonna release, because I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure it's not this year. I could be wrong, but I don't remember them saying it's going to be this year. Luigi Mansion 2. <laughs> um, I, I, I when I first saw that, I thought, is Luigi, is Luigi like one of the Ghostbusters? Because <laughs> he was taking a vacuum cleaner and sucking up the ghosts. Like, that's really what I thought of. I mean, I, I didn't even, I didn't remember Luigi Mansion 1. So, as soon as I saw the, sec as soon as I saw the second one, they announced, I'm like, 
Ghostbusters, what? The haunted house, ghosts sucking people up. I mean, come on, that's a little too close to Ghostbusters. But, you know, as soon as I, as soon as I heard it was actually a vacuum cleaner, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a fun game, though. I'm sure a lot of people, kids are going to love it. Uh, Pokemon 3D. Um, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the 3DS, but I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not into the Pokemon 3D thing. I mean... As I said before, I'm not really into 3D. I think 3D is like a really big gimmick. I mean, and I don't even think we're ready for 3D yet. Like the 3D on the scale everyone's promoting. I'm not really sure that we all, we're ready for that yet, just yet. But that's just me. But Pokemon 3D, you know, if it looks anywhere near as good as Black and all that, I'm sure it's gonna be a really fun game, for sure. Nintendo eShop, iShop. I don't know what the fuck you call that shit, but. Um, it sounds like it has potential, uh, you know, getting some of the other games, downloading them, I don't know if it's any good as the last one they had, but, <clears throat> whatever's on the Wii, I mean, but, you know, don't really have much to say on Nintendo iShop. Now, the big thing, the thing everyone was waiting for, and in the end was mind-boggled at the end result. Project Cafe equals Wii U. I'm not gonna lie, guys. When I first, I was actually, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Before that was even announced, I was actually pretty hyped. I want, I wouldn't say hyped, but I was really intrigued on what the new, the new console was gonna be about. And as soon as that came out, I was a little disappointed. Uh, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say what I originally thought of on the spot when I swatched it with zero, or. Uh, other people, because I was actually really trashing the Wii U, but I was really disappointed. I was I was expecting a uh, GameCube type new console with the in with the in with the acquisition or inclusion of the Nintendo's Wii Remote, but still has a standard controller like the GameCube, where you can play with you know hardcore games like a Conduit and. Uh, I may, maybe I think it was Mad World. I think about. I think I think those are hardcore games. Those, um, I was thinking about the other day. But instead, we have Wii U, which no one knew at the time watching, including myself, whether it was going to be a console, or whether it was going to be a controller. And what I read online afterwards that it, 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 it sorry, my, my nose is really itchy for some reason. Um, um, there is a control. There, there, there's a controller with the 6.2 inch L LCD screen, and there is a console, but it's it's gonna be so smaller. It's gonna be smaller than the Xbox 360. So right now, I'm not liking the controller. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not liking the controller. I don't. First of all, it's big. Like it's like this, and you know you have to hold it on like this side, and then there's two different. Uh, Directional pad thingies. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it, and I'm definitely not feeling that that L, the LT the LCD screen. You know, I, I understand what Nintendo's trying to do here. They're trying to <clears throat> they're trying to make um almost like a 3DS type thing with the console and make it fun and make it unique, but. The way I see Nintendo as of late, they're trying too hard to innovate. Uh, I'm not saying innovating is bad, but sometimes you don't really need to innovate as much as you need to continue with what you already got. You know, you, you don't see Microsoft and the, uh, Sony coming out with something something new that we never even heard before, trying to innovate gameplay. I mean, we don't really see that. And sure, you know, if you look in the past, Nintendo was not really about innovation as much. You know, you look at the the NES, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the Nintendo 64, you look at the GameCube, you know, these were just standard control, standard consoles, and then all of a sudden, as soon as the Wii came out, it was all about a change, about innovation, about using motion control, and then the Wii U comes out and it's like, what the fuck? Like, and then that was my initial reactions, uh, what the hell, man, like, I was not expecting that, I was not even... I was not really expecting that, pretty much. That's pretty much what I was feeling at the time. I'm like, oh, what? Again, I can see the potential of the Wii U. I'm not saying it's going to be bad. I can see the potential. Here's the concerns, and I'm sure everyone's going to addressing that as well. First off, the price of the console and the control together. Um, 
what I've read online, Iowata was saying that it's not going to be cheap. Other articles say it might be over 300 bucks. Well, I was talking to someone else. He said with the specs Nintendo we use having, I wouldn't be surprised if it's o over $350, if not close to $400. Now, I don't know about anyone else here, but Nintendo has rarely ever made a expensive console or portable console before. I mean, the, the 3DS was the first time they actually made an expensive console. I don't remember. I believe $200 was the most exp the, the, there was the amount of the Wii when it first released. It was $199. I'm pretty sure that was the price of the Wii when it first came out. Um, I can't remember the price of the GameCube when it first came out or the Nintendo 64. Um, at that time period, I guess the, the amount, the it uh, wasn't really that expensive per se as some of the things nowadays, but I'm telling you right now, for the Wii U is 400 bucks, even close to 450. I mean, you're looking at a console that's on the brink of matching the PS3 launch. Then you have to wonder, okay, if it's 400, what's the launch title going to be? Because we already seen from the 3DS that the launch titles has been few, and the releases afterwards has been piss poor, and the sales on the 3DS has been completely bad. Like, they're losing money every time they're not releasing anything for the 3DS. The PSP is outselling the 3DS in Japan. That is that's ridiculous right there, you know. And, you know, ever since the Nintendo's press conference, their stocks has fallen for the Nintendo Wii U because, because uh, uh, I don't know, maybe the stockholders don't know what the hell they're trying to do here. But, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to make of this Wii U. It has potential. The, the specs, obviously, are pretty good. It's on par, if not a little bit over, the 360 and PS3. But, again, specs don't really mean a thing. Uh, what Nintendo does best is... Re Bringing back their own titles, their exclusives, Mario, Zelda, Link, Metroid, you know, they're bringing back Star Fox, which is good. Maybe they can add that to the Nintendo Wii U's uh, list of games in the future. Um, if you want my opinion, guys, Nintendo, if I honest opinion, don't be focusing too much on Arkham City, on Darksiders 2, and all that stuff. I don't know about anyone else, but when I was talking about hardcore games, I was not talking about ports from the other two consoles. When I'm talking about hardcore games, again, I was referring back to Conduit and more Mad World and other games like those, but on the Wii, which is completely new, completely different, um, utilizing the motion control. That or just regular standard control if they allowed it. I mean, that is what I was talking about hardcore games. Because, you know, um, if you can, if you were working for over 10 hours a day, you come home, you're tired. Do you really want to go on the couch, stand up, and start... Um, Clicking the Wii remote, you know, expending more energy, being more tired. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating with the flicking here, but I'm just saying, like, would you really want to expend more energy doing that, or sit down, relax in a chair, have a, something to eat, maybe a cup of soda or beer, whatever your, whatever tickles your fancy, and uh, just play with the controller, you know, relax. That, that's what you really want to do when you come home from work, when you, when you're working so long. But I don't know, man. Project Cafe, uh, Wii U, whatever. I don't know. Is it's gonna it's the price and the launch of the Wii U and the launch titles rather is gonna make a break the Wii U. I'm telling you guys right now, it's gonna make a break the Wii U. I'm not, I'm not saying it's gonna completely fall short. They're obviously gonna build it up. It's not gonna be a total failure. Nintendo has a way to recoup their sales, and I know the 3DS is looking pretty bad right now, but I'm sure Nintendo's gonna pick that right back up soon. But honestly. I'm really not into the Wii U, and I'm not sure about what anyone else. I mean, I, I don't know. I understand what they're trying to do here, but for right now, that's not exactly what I was expecting or wanting. But again, we'll see. You know, I've been wrong before. I've been, um, they've proven me wrong in the past. So I, I definitely want to see where they take this stuff. Uh, Wii U, you know that. Again, it has potential, really good potential. I can see where they're going with that, but maybe I'm just bored with PS3 and three. 360 controllers where I just want to play those type of standard games <laughs> instead of playing the Wii, but you know, whatever. We'll, we'll see, you know. Other than the fact you can only have one Wii U controller at a time and anyone else who's playing with you has to use the Wii remote, um, you know, that's kind of disappointing at least as well, but again, we'll see what they do. Um, in terms of Nintendo's press conference, uh, I'm going to have to say though that they just 
barely, barely missed out being ahead of Sony. And they're like a little bit behind. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because the Wii U really spun some head around. Like, they really spun some heads. We were confused. We didn't know what the hell they were trying to do with this thing. Uh, many people, not just myself, were, wait a second, is it a controller or is it a console? Like, even saw it at the G4 TV um, thing. Um, Adam Sessler and all these other people over there doing this show, they don't even know, they weren't even sure about it either. So, it, you know, that is what really threw back a couple points where it could have matched the Sony or even won the conference if we have to say someone won the conference. But for me, for my honest opinion, guys, Sony did manage to win the conference, not by much. Um, all the press conferences, like I said before, were pretty standard. We already knew it was going to be released prior, you know, the, you know. I knew there might have been a six, uh, not six inches, but there might be an LCD screen on the controller. I was hoping it won't be, but again, they proved me wrong, saying yes, there will be one. So, right now, we did better than Microsoft's conference. I don't think anyone could be as bad as Microsoft's conference in the last two years. My God, they were so bad. Ugh. Sesame Street. Yes, if you guys have not watched that, my reaction to Sesame Street Connect, please click on that video, man. It's fucking stupid. But, um, yeah, you know, thanks for watching, guys. This is my Nintendo's press conference afterthoughts. Um, this is the last video of the press conferences. The next couple of videos, I'm hoping, will be to talk about all the other games that were shown off for all multi-platform. Um, there were plenty of them. And then afterwards, I'll go, um, probably, actually, I think I might have enough time to actually do this one more video and then maybe do one more my lasting thoughts on what I wanted to, hoping to see, other than the games that were shown there. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I may not seem a little too crazy and co comedic as it was in the, the uh, Microsoft's press conference, but you know, um, I can't always be that happy every time I make these videos, you know. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys later for more um, E3 afterthoughts.